I'll select the four beams. Simply, what what you can do is either you can simply copy paste above by three meters. Simply, if you use copy, control C and control V, you'll have a dialog box, which which will ask you by what distance you want to paste these set of beams. So you can enter uh, the distance here, and you can copy paste this. Or what you can do is you can simply use the translational repeat again. Repeat it in y direction, say three times, three meters, say, and you just link them. Linking them, what that will help is you, it will create the beams and the columns together. See the same floor plan is repeated three times above with a distance of three meters. Now what we'll do is let us assume our building is ready okay what we'll do is we'll assign the properties to each of the structural elements so here you'll find three or four tabs which provides different functions first one is property second one is the support or the boundary condition third one is the specifications for members the fourth one is for loading the same set of things are available on the left hand side as well if you go to the general tab you see property specification support loadings and material the same set here as well okay so let's use it either from here or from that end so if you click on the property tab on the right hand side you will get a dialog box where you can define the properties that you'll be using along with the dimensions of your members so let us say see this section database is for steel elements which will open the options that are available instead as a predefined members these are the steel sections a wide variety of steel sections provided that is basically used for the steel industry so let let us define the section since this is a multi storied building we'll assume that we're using concrete here so we'll define the dimensions of the concrete so let us assume we have circular columns which are say 800 meters now since since we have you know opted for meter in our length units earlier the default units being displayed is meter if you select millimeter or other units it will display accordingly here you have an option of selecting the predetermined uh, material properties so these are the four sets which are already defined. If you want to define something other than that, you can define. So I'll, I'll show you how. So let's, for the time being, let's add it. For the beams, we'll select rectangular. Now this is the depth part. This is the width of the beam. So depth, let's say 0.8. Width, say 0.5. Simply add it. Now let me... Uh, tell you that we have not assigned properties to any of our members right now we have simply defined them okay now assigning the properties let's assume that the columns all of the of our columns are having the same circular property so how to select them quickly you'll go to select tool you have an option to select beams parallel to global axis so let's say our uh, since we are assigning properties to our columns we we'll select beams parallel to y you can see all our columns are selected keeping this one as highlighted i'll assign to the selected beams there are different options for assigning it if you want to assign your property to specific members you can use the cursor to assign if you want to assign properties to a set of members you can do so like this so as of now let's assign it it'll ask for the confirmation it's done again for the beams we'll do the same thing we'll select beams parallel to x and again beams parallel to z we'll assign to the selected beams okay now if i go to the 3d view you see the set of beams and columns are shown with the dimensions okay Let's close it out. 
most important thing is the support conditions which is not defined yet so let's go to the support tab we can create tab and this is a set of supporting conditions which is def provided by stad so as of now we'll consider the bottom of the columns as fixed so we'll simply add it we'll go to the node selection cursor we'll select it select the bottom nodes assign to selected nodes yes so you'll see if i go to the isometric view all my bottom nodes are supported with the fixed uh, supporting conditions you can use the other support conditions depending upon your requirement okay now we have not added any slabs yet what we'll do is easier way just for practice you can select the beams go to the front view select all the horizontal beams like this or you can again go to the selection procedure that i have shown you earlier you can go here select beams parallel to x and z and now there is an option called fill floor grid with plates so if i click here you'll see 20 new plates are created and all these plates will be in planes because i've selected the beams here in planes if i go to the 3d view now you see the plate elements which are uh, being shown in pink color are now added so this is the view so let's add some property to our plates slabs for slabs we use the thickness tab we'll assign the thickness say point to 250 mm thick slab we'll add it for selecting all the plates together go to the plate tab and drag your cursor window across the structure all the plates will be selected you can just assign the properties now now if you go to this as you can see the thicknesses are associated you can also see the behavior of one particular element suppose i click on this plate i go to the 3d view i'll just zoom in you see there is a thickness assigned to it okay so this is just the geometrical modeling part what remains next is assigning the loads so go to the loads and definitions load case details what we'll do is we'll add basic load cases now so we'll go to the new tab you see there are load case options first we'll define the load case so load case one you can define different types of load cases now these things if you click on none that won't be a problem while you analyze the problem but these predefined texts are used when you want to use the inbuilt load combinations in stad there is a set of load combinations which stad already uses that can be directly used or if you want to define it as per your requirement you can do so so let us define dead load you want to add the loads to this loading section you click on add you'll have a new dialog box where you have options to provide different loads for self weight you simply need to provide direction factor of minus one indicates opposite to your positive y that means towards the gravity so i'll add it and close it see now this question mark shows that this load is defined but it's not added so i'll simply assign it to view because self weight will be assigned to all the members now make sure you assign the self weight because by default stad will not consider the weight of the elements in its computation okay next if i go on this load case details and add i'll have this dialog box i'll define live loads now if i click on this and click on the add tab it will provide the options for adding the loads so suppose I'll add the floor loads. Now in this floor load options, what happens is you have to give the range 
in which you want to assign the floor loads so suppose i want to see the range if you can click on the node and click on this one this option is for displaying the node to node distance so if i click on the extreme left and the right it will show us the length of the building click on this node it will show the width of the building and this one will show you the height so considering this one the extreme left corner you can see now if you go to the geometry you can see this coordinates of the extreme leftmost node that will be the origin of our structure so that is 10 minus 3 and 20 so accordingly we will assign the loads here floor load y range will simply give you the range of this variation y so we will simply keep it as 0 and maximum value say 20 meter now this 20 meter should include the height overall height that you want to assign the load on now you will add the live load minus 3 y minus 3 again the same reason because the global y is in positive y upward direction so my load needs to be in the downward direction so i'll add it you see since i have already provided the range it has automatically assigned all my plates with that load i'll reduce the scale now see if i see the top view you can see the loads are automatically distributed in terms of one way or two way distribution depending upon the shape i'll get back to that same loading there is an option called one way distribution so as we all know there are, for slabs we have one way and two way options so if i click on one way you see the loads are distributed on the one way directions let's keep it two way for the time being now in a similar fashion you can add loads to your structure different types of load suppose if you want to add a new load load case 3 you can define it as wind roof load says make snow load all these options are there and once you define it if you click on this you'll have the assignment option so these are again the different types of load you want to apply load on the member or member if you want to assign load on a particular node you can select that you have all different options thermal load seismic load time is free wind load all possible loads that you need to that are required for the structure so let's let's not go into the details right now i'll delete it as of now now if i want to analyze this particular structure another important thing i missed out for the materials since we directly uh, use the concrete selection while defining the section sizes we choose concrete if you want to create a specific uh, you know material you have the option to create it you give your own name you provide the basic engineering properties okay and you click on okay you will have a different set of properties available so that can be done now let's let's analyze this particular structure a simple structure what we'll do is we'll go to command on analysis and on perform analysis let's not print anything as of now just okay analyze and run analysis so no errors no warnings just a note for the computation now if i go back to my editor mode you can see all the informations that i generated graphically is provided here in the editor if you want to modify something you can do here also that will be reflected there directly okay now if i go to the post processing mode means once your analysis is complete you can see the results structure 
the post processing mode i'll remove the dimensions you can see the bending moment diagram is available if you want to see the values of any particular one select it okay just right click and create new view okay create a new window for the view so this will just select that beam you can see all the values here we'll go to result the view values for the beam results maximum you want to see the shear forces axial forces click on annotate you see the maximum moments are displayed you want the axial force diagram axial is there shear values you have the shear force diagram here so you can see every detail that is required for the engineering problem is available here okay you want to see the deflections now if you want to use the tabular form you have it here you click on the beam node if you want to get details for specific one click on that beam you have it all the details for the envelope this will be used for the design part the maximum bending moments axial force forces all the details are available i'm not showing the design of the uh, elements right now because that will take some time and we will discuss all those details in our detailed uh, course of stat pro so uh, there is a, this output option where you get the details of the analysis report here what are the errors or if there are any errors any warnings what analysis has been done all those details will be reflected here okay so uh, get uh, we'll will get into the depth of all these things in our detailed course so just give you an idea about how easy and how simple modeling can be there i'll just show you one interesting thing here see this is one of the uh, you know the library of stat which which provides you with the pre built options of using models so if you have a frame model for the building you can simply select this type of model click and drag here you can define the number of bays number of bays along the three directions the length height dimensions and the model will be generated directly for complex structures like solid models the silos cooling towers all those things prototypes are available you can click and drag it here give your own dimensions and click on apply that model will be generated in your modeling space so this is quite a very helpful information in stat for quick modeling okay so this is all for the day thank you